times have I told you? Avicii is shit. Tiesto <laughs> is the real king of house. <laughs> Sit the fuck down! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bros. QTs uh, make me take the role for health and safety reasons or some shit. <laughs> so, uh... Is Jados here? Yup! Yeah. <laughs> is Tuka here? All good shit. Robo? Yeah, mate. Maka? Oh, I'm here, bruh. And Z-Style? You know it, bruh. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm Michael Davidson. I've just moved over here from LLB 103. Michael Davidson. You can be Mazza D. Mazza <laughs> Alright, bros. I'm John Crawford. You can call me JC. Unit coordinator of LWB 069! <laughs> 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 LWB 069 is a subject dedicated to showing you the ropes of being a bro in the legal profession. <laughs> I'll be showing you mad units how to incorporate gym time into your billable hours. <laughs> how to smash bulk beers at corporate functions. And the latter end of the course will be on scotch and cigar appreciation. <laughs> There'll also be a lecture on sports convertibles Cause no one, and I mean no one Wants to be the fucking fit douche Who rocks up to work after me admitted to the bar IN A FORD FUCKING TERRITORY Fit <laughs> douche <laughs> Now, we've got a series of problem questions this week Does anyone want to read it out? Oh, I got this one JC! Disappointing guys <laughs> Alright, chess bro's going to stereo Sonny. Oh, <laughs> chess bro is caught with 50 grams of cannabis and two pills. Later to reveal to be ecstasy. <laughs> advise chess bro on the offences he's committed under the Drug Misuse Act. And part B, advise chess bro on what he should say to the police. <laughs> Alright, bros, this is one of your typical exam questions in pro law. <laughs> if you were to get this in an exam, how would you begin addressing the question? Maz and D, see guys? First of all, you would determine which category of drug uh, cannabis and ecstasy are in the drug misuses regular. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, look, you'd only get about half a mark for that one in the exam. Can anyone help him out? <laughs> I so can help him out. First off, you have to see just how short are chest bra shorts and do his legs obtain a maximum girth? <laughs> oh shit, yeah bro. Fist pump. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, one of the most important things about... Oh, can you help me out bro? When attending stereo son, you have to ensure that your pants are short enough to ensure that you can show off your mass gains from deadlifting. About 400... Dude, that was a bit dangerous, I might spot you. From deadlifting! <laughs> Shirt. <laughs> Everyone wants to see how fucking ripped and tan you are. <laughs> now, using the Isaac method, we'd probably want to phrase this one as a question. <laughs> Does anyone have any ideas about what we can put? Bruh, do you even lift? Shit, yeah, bruh. Now, what would you advise chest bro on? JC? I yeah. advise him, I would advise him to shelf those dingers like a loose unit. Fuck yeah, Robo. Thanks, bro. Alright, now this is the pivotal part of the question. This is what separates a four student from a seven. <laughs> now, what should he say to the police? Mazza D. Well, he should use and retain his right to remain silent. Uh, that's from section 397 of the Police Powers uh, and Responsibilities Act and nothing. Mazza. Bruh. Mazza. Bruh. You gotta be more detailed. You keep skipping ahead. <laughs> Can anyone help him out? Yep. Well, I mean, I would advise him to walk up to the police yes. in a courteous manner mm -hmm. and say... You're off the fucking chain, Robbo! Straight, seven, answer! What's up with Z-Star? 
He drawn some ass and boo-boo the lake to ride him. What about the dripping balls? Fuck yeah, he thinks he's a cat. <laughs> now, bro, he's on to question two. <laughs> Anyone want to read it out? Well, yeah, I got this, bro. Hey, me. So, uh, we got Dan Bilserian, right? He's, <laughs> he's cleaning the pool in his mansion with a group of expensive prostitutes. <laughs> Now he decides to throw one of the prostitutes off the balcony into the pool, but he mistimes the throw and the prostitute breaks her leg. <laughs> now uh, she signed a contract wavering her legal liability. Advise Danny B. Sorry, I get it. But this is a subject close to my heart. <laughs> I'd appreciate if the class didn't laugh at how I lost my wife! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a subject we have to cover, so it's a typical exam question. Can anyone, does anyone know how you would address it? Alright, so the first thing you want to do is, you want to establish just how much Dan Blazarian's match is worth. Because, you know, you ain't a true fucking player if it's worth anything less than 20 fucking mil, am I right? Mm -hmm. Wait! What? Surely you first don't address negligence. Mazza. <laughs> bruh. Mazza, bruh. You gotta be more detailed. You keep skipping ahead! Uh, I think you'll find what you really need to do is first establish the net worth of the prostitute that D Bang has got, and then also you gotta look at the man's scotch bar. If it's under five grand, you ain't hashtag bus hunting! <laughs> this is a straight seven, bro, law student. Now, there are other variables to look at, but we haven't got into scotch quality yet. So, we're going to look at the negligence issue. Mazadeep, since you're so fucking keen, <laughs> can you give us the definition of negligence? Yes, uh, that is where the defendant owes the plaintiff a duty of care, and that duty is, uh, is broken, not delivered, and the plaintiff suffers injury due to that breach, that's from Donahue and Stevenson. Not bad, bro. I could have been wrong about you. Fist me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bro! Fist me! No! JC! JC, sorry, but I feel the need to correct my learned friend on this matter. I would, of course, be relying on Lord Atkins' decision from page 233, where I believe he said, Turn, Turn down! down. Alright lads, lectorial up! Oh well, yellow right? <laughs>